So I am here with Nick, and we are smoking uh, two tobaccos by two master blenders. Nick is smoking uh, Key Largo, mm -hmm. of course, uh, by GLP's classic cigar blend. I am smoking a new blend that was actually something of a team-up, a mashup of uh, GLP's and Cornell and Deal, and that is uh, two friends. I'm going to botch the pronunciation, Vale Crucis? Vale Crucis. Va vale Crucis. No, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I don't think that's a new blend, actually. It's not that new? I, d I got I it not too long ago. They did these like 10 years ago. Um, Fine Stove, Virginia, and Oriental Tobaccos, Rich Cyprian Latakia, Black Toasted Cavendish, and a pitch of Perique, complemented with a touch of ginger. Let me tell you something. This is not a touch of ginger, my friends. Uh, I open this up, uh, and I smell it, uh, and it's got kind of this, yeah, 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 there you go, it's going again, it's going again, sorry folks, <laughs> technical difficulties, um, so there's, it's kind of a ribbon cut, I guess, um, uh, you can see the Cavendish in there, when you, when I smell this, the ginger is, is almost overpowering, um, there's also a hint of uh, something fermented, maybe wine. Sounds like a ginger wine sort of thing. Um, so it's like an English and an aromatic. Uh, the first time I smoked this, I hated it. It was uh, winter. Uh, I was smoking it down here in the basement. Here's the portable stash, by the, the way. Portable stash. Uh, it's the Prince Albert at the top. Because you know I like the finer things. Hmm. Um, it's an occasional blend. Uh, um, and it's just overpowering. Just um, and uh, and I didn't like it. I didn't smoke it smoke it again until uh, the weather got nice and I went outside and I wanted a change of pace. So I was like, oh, I'll give it a second try. The second time I tried it, I loved it. Nice warm day. Um, something about the ginger uh, kind of melded with the, you know, the fresh flowers that were, that had just come into bloom. Um, you know, smoking outside, uh, you know, uh, in my apartment, you know, near the woods. And um, just very nice. Um, it's funny, me and Nick, we went uh, to go grab some whiskey and... Uh, we come back to the room and there, there was this overpowering like note of berries or some berries and ginger. Yeah. Um, so I can't recommend it to everyone. Uh, it would be a bad idea because I'd get a lot of hate mail. Um, <laughs> if you're in the mood for it, uh, if you like ginger, um, it actually goes well with tobacco. It's not the worst casing I've ever um, tasted. I, I thought it was actually pretty pleasant. Um, the worst casing I ever tasted, by the way, is the casing I got in my, uh, package of clan. Uh, <laughs> that is the worst casing. I got this when I was in Padova. Renowned for its, uh... Renowned for its, uh, for its aroma. Casing, yeah. Anywho, um, not the worst case in the world. So now I actually kind of like it, but, uh, it seems to go well on, um, on a warm day. It's, it's, I'm struck in its uniqueness because nothing else has come close. It's not like you can compare it to anything. It's, it's, ba what's its base? It's almost like an English with ginger, right? Mm. The word Latakia and ginger mm. probably shouldn't be in the same paragraph. I don't know. <laughs> it was a very interesting artistic <laughs> choice side. on, on the parts of, uh, Pease and Tarler or whoever put this together. It's, uh. I don't know, one of them must have dreamt about it or something. And they're like, oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's try it. It works, but it's an acquired taste. Um, and certainly if you don't like uh, gingery things, and, uh, and, yeah, and putting ginger in an, in an English, I don't know, can, can be considered sacrilege. But, but uh, you know, I think it's good. What? Yeah. Uh, I was giving you the wrap it up signal. Oh, wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> We're that's approaching really, five minutes. Oh, that's really all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. I don't all right. want to go on too long. There you go. Review of two friends via Crucis or however you... Uh... 
I don't know what that is. Valle Cruces, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, delicious, kind of. Thanks. (laughs) Kind of.